What's up, YouTube? Back with another Beers and Bars video. I'm Casey. Scorp. And today we're reacting to JID's Cody Blue 31. Yep. Okay. New cut, new song. Like, be trying to go in order as much as we can. So, this is the next one. Let's do this. I'm glad this is a video. Ooh. Let's check it. Yeah. And now, my niggas, our feature presentation. <laughs> and it, it just blends right back into it too this this right i mean yeah just like right away like damn this is southern playlistic vibes well, right here like this house and like this kind of like scenery reminds mm -hmm. me when i was a kid i lived in mississippi for a little mm -hmm. while yeah and like it looked very similar to this yeah man <laughs> Like the green and the yeah, uh -huh. Places where history can't stop or break me. Hold up. You know what, dude? All right. So, so, like, I was, like, reading reviews on this guy. And, and then I heard the I'm um, Anthony Fantano one. And, and just, like, the I'm um, Hot 97 thing. Yeah. So, he was talking about, yeah, he was taking singing lessons or whatever. But he sounds good. I was just going to say, I didn't know that J.I.D. could sing. Yeah. I mean. Like, I was not expecting much, you know, like I was not expecting much at all because I was like hearing this in the reviews because I'm like reading on the stuff like ahead of time. And then, you know, just like I'm hearing from other various reviewers about, yeah, he's singing and how he mentioned that. Yeah, I took singing lessons and like I'm doing this or whatever. So I did not expect much, but he sounds good. He sounds yeah, like he, sounds he could good. actually drop an album of yeah. singing. It's It's pretty. I mean. Kind of doesn't surprise me because of how smooth his flow is on like everything he yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So like that's right. Melody comes to him like right, like it's like yeah, it's in, yeah. it's in uh -huh. his blood for sure. Gotcha. The way gotcha. he because because the only other person that is smooth like him is is three stacks like we've been talking yeah, about right. Definitely, so, definitely. So I'm gonna say like that's probably where it's coming from, right? I pray to love my soul to keep. The pressure makes me, the journey takes me to places where history can't stop or break me. He sounds kind of like Anderson Pock in a way. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, just like him, but just kind of just, you know, just kind of like he has that raspiness kind of like him. Well, what I really like about it is that it's not that he is, it doesn't sound like he is trying to be the next great singer or no. anything. He's just uh -huh. trying to like add that to his game like his like repertoire of things that he's able to do right you know what though and it's like i think you know like along with that just to um, add on it's just the feeling i mean this is the feeling of this track like i bet like when he first listened to this he's like i have to do this other thing for this song and i think that it was just like based off of feeling i think right it wasn't based off of a hey, okay i'm gonna try to no I just think it was like, you know what? I think I have to do this. I got to just go beyond what I normally do. Yeah. And that's what this is right here, I think. I like it. It's me, the journey takes me to places where history can't stop or break me. You know, it rains for something. You know, the pain's for something. I hope a change is coming. Just keep on. So I wonder if he is buying a house for himself or for his family or for like his family. Probably for that's what I fam. think. I think he's buying his mom's house. Yeah. Yeah. Like back, I mean, back, like you're you know buying what? the house he grew up in. 
You know what though? Like a lot of people, like I think, like when I mean, because like a lot of people in poverty, like I've been through this as well, um, to where like we were, I mean, hey, like we have like a family of eight or whatever trying to stay in a three bedroom apartment or whatever. And like all of us think about, man, like if shoot, like if I get like eight figures or whatever, I'm buying mama a house, you know, and like the rest of the family or whatever, like, hey, um, they could get just like other rooms or whatever, but I'm getting mama a house. You know, so I think that this what the situation might be right here. That's what it seems like. Keep swinging, little bro. I'm about to swing on Terry Payne because he said my sister ho. Getting high from swishing sweets, chariots are swinging low. Swats the cousin of police, hang a nigga swinging rope. I love how you say that. Swats on the police. That's like some real stuff, man. Because, like, people like mention, hey, like, there's some of them that, you know, are down with that KKK type of environment. Right. You know, so. Yeah, he was talking talk. about it's like some getting high on some Swisher Sweets. And yeah, shit. You yeah. know, like everybody I knew growing up took Swisher Sweets and they fucking Yeah, man, I un- had some back in the day yeah, too, man. You had to unroll <laughs> those things. <laughs> yeah, man. And re-roll man, those that. things. Yeah, I know that. Sweets, chariots are swinging low. Swats the cousin of police, hang a nigga swinging rope. Pee Wee tried to swing on me, but I was with like 50 folks and he ain't know. But what was worse, I ain't even want no beef for bro. We was told it, we were soldiers, we were soulless, we were sold it. Saying something about his said, nigga, that who we swinging for. Swear you bitches don't know shit about our stress about This, what we're watching right now, is basically like our life. Like all we do yeah. is barbecue. Yes, uh-huh. all, that's all like, we do. But we grow that good shit. Yeah, we grow good like, shit. Just, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be one hundred with you guys. Like we throw it down, like we burn yeah. it down. Yeah, like, yeah, we do like tomahawk steak nights and stuff yes. like that. But yes. this yes. actually, this is why we created the channel. Yeah, I know. Our family based off of hate <laughs> hate when we're talking about music at the barbecue. Yep, uh-huh, that's right. Yep, that's right. That's what we're doing. Yep. I love this. I want no beef for bro. We was told it. We were soldiers. We were soulless. We were sold it. Saying something by his set. Nigga, that who we swangin' for. Swear you bitches don't know shit about our stress, about our woes, and my obsession with success by definition of my own. Sure as death is waiting on our flesh and bones. Demon calling my spirit. Had to click the phone. Couldn't get to Courtney quick enough to. Dang. Like, the way he's calling all that out, it's like he couldn't get the death off of my bones quick yes. enough. Like, I don't want no beef with anybody. Like, but he's talking about, the, but somebody's picking up a hamburger at the same time. And like, yeah. And like how um, he's saying, like, I couldn't get to Courtney quick enough. Like, I wonder, I mean, because cause I was like, I'm hearing this in the interview. Like, I wonder if like he's talking about like his friend. Probably. You know, that he could not help. Well, the comments probably know. That, yeah. Yeah. What you guys know? Yeah. Let us know yeah. in the comments, like, how did this play out? Mm-hmm. My obsession with success by definition of my own Sure as death is waiting on our flesh and bones Demon calling my spirit, had to click the phone Couldn't get to Courtney quick enough to give her one Big hugs, told her you like the strongest woman on the fucking globe I watched my mama lose her mama go through drama and trauma But had to keep her head high so we don't fucking know I'm getting older so when the world's feeling enormous On your back and on your arms And your feet just as heavy you have been dragging through the storm This is 100 percent three stacks like yes, style like 100 yes, yes, percent yes, yes it is man and just like the beat alone too man if that is like some down south southern playlistic yes. shit if i never heard this before and i never heard jid before i would have been like is this kendrick or is this three stacks like yeah man i'm like you know what though but I'll, I'll tell you this like if you listen to the um southern playlistic album by outcast and like I'm goody mob, like you know, I mean, just like the beat alone, it, it's I so mean, like, it's rem- like yeah, it's inspired yes. from that era right there. Like, so it, I love them. It feels albums. like it, it feels like it literally comes from the same soul. Yes, yes. 
Bieber head high, so we don't fucking know. I'm getting older, so when the world's feeling enormous on your back and on your arms, and your feet just as heavy, you've been dragging through the storm. Staring at this city, but you trapped inside the hole. Get your back up off the roads, keep swinging on. All right, so he talked about how, like, he had like a family of seven. He was like the youngest of sw- like of seven or eight, I don't know. And then he also talked about, you know, how the um, older kids, like, they were listening to Outcast, Goody Mob, and like, you know, like, I'm um, people from like that time right there, you know, Wu Tang or just like whatever. And so it was just like, he was just like a young kid, just, you know, absorbing, absorbing all that yeah. stuff and just like listening. And so, I mean, damn, it's like amazing. And then, yeah, like he said that, like most of his family is still close. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if they're like his, you no, know, I wonder if that's like his real fam right there. It that's probably weird. is. Yeah. I, I don't know. Every family's got one of those. <laughs> where we know where to go. Swing. <laughs> yep. Yep. Everyone. Every family's yep. got one of those. Everybody, man. Everybody's got one of those. Yeah, man. Like my bro. Hey, on um, rest in peace. You know. Yeah. You know what? Hey, um, yeah, he was. He, you know what? Hey, um, he was that guy that was. I mean, yeah. Flashy. Dude, dude, man. Like he had like all the flash, like everything, man. Yeah. Yeah. Swing on. I love this breakdown, man. Wipe them out. All right. All right. One more time. Sit up, Roger. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Dude, listen, man. I got to tell you, man, what I love about this track right here. All right. Um, For one, a lot of versatility because like the um, songs that um, we were hearing, like it was, you know, some kind of like I'm um, trap ish type of stuff, just like a little sprinkles or whatever. But this shows like a different side of my man, Jid. Mm-hmm. I love shit like that because when people, I mean, like when artists could show different sides of them, man, I mean, like they're not just one dimensional, like they have, you know, I mean, like they, just have versatility. I'm like, they have, you know, I mean, you know what? I just, you know, I'm speechless right now, man. I just love this, man. I love it. I think what you're trying to say is that in this like specific song, right? He's able to show his ability to not only do amazing raps, right? But he's also has the ability to sing, not like, like Whitney Houston or anything crazy. Right. But he can still sing. Yes. He also has the ability to be humble and recognize where he's coming from. He's showing real side of himself. He's bringing his family into it. He is bringing like what he is doing, what he like, he didn't lose sight of where he came from and where he's going at the same time. And exactly. And then one of the other things that I do like about this too, all right, like, you know how people blow up and make it like, it's like, oh, bling, bling, hey, look at my Bentley or whatever. But he's like doing real stuff. It's like, hey, mama, I'm going to get you out this one room yep. shack and I'm going to give you a house. I'm going to give you some land. And this is what it shows that he did right here. Like he gave his mom that land. And, you know, and he's showing that it's all about family. And like he's not there by himself. Like he's around the people that raised him, you know, that grew up with him. Right. You know, he's around that type of circle. And that's amazing, man. I just, man. And I just love the different sound. I mean, for real, I just love when artists can do stuff like that. Like when they're not one dimensional, 
I just love stuff like that. Or I think 2007 proved that he wasn't one dimensional. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, but, definitely. But, but and I then mean, also, um, Crack Sandwich showed that too. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Dance Now was dance like, now, was like, yeah, like, radar. I mean, 